Hey, Internet. I'm Steve, the Cosmere Knot. Welcome to Raffo. You've heard of Brandon Sanderson. Maybe you saw that record-breaking Kickstarter. You've had friends recommend his books to you. Or you heard the nerd king Henry Cavill talk them up. Anything by Brandon Sanderson. Sanderson is most well-known for his Stormlight Archive series. And maybe you were thinking about jumping in. Don't do it. As a pretty devoted Sanderson fan, here's five reasons why you shouldn't read the Stormlight Archive. Number one, it's heavy. So far, there are four books in this series, plus two novellas, but it's planned to be a full ten books long, with who knows however many shorties in between. Way of Kings, the first book, was just over a thousand pages. Book two, Words of Radiance, was 1088. Oathbringer came in at 1220, and 2020's Rhythm of War has a whopping 1,232 pages. If that trend continues, Stormlight 10 would have over 1,700 pages, with a total page count for the entire series well over 14,000. It's... it's real big. Your arms will get tired. It's fine, you say, I do audiobooks. Well, you're looking at a final book nearly three and a half days long. The whole thing would take you the better part of a month listening to it non-stop. And that's not even counting the inevitable novellas. Even if you do ebooks, you're still in danger from number two, dehydration. These books make you feel things. When I read the ending of Rhythm of War, I was making noises I hadn't made since I was eight years old and lost Norm, my favorite toy, in the bushes outside my house, never to be seen again, with all the appropriate waterworks. <laughs> Miss you, Norm. You're going to care about people, and then things are going to happen to those people. If you don't properly hydrate, reading these books is going to do serious damage to your kidneys. And if you do hydrate, you're just going to be walking around with a wet shirt all the time. Number three, you might as well just go to therapy. Stormlight in the Sanderson fandom is known to simply be therapy wrapped in fiction. If you want to be a better person, challenge your beliefs, and start working on living up to some higher ideals, you might as well just skip the fiction bit and start talking with a therapist. I mean, you'll probably need to do that anyway after you read it. I bring up Stormlight in therapy all the time. Number four. Crabs. Dog crabs, cow crabs, tiger crabs, bug crabs, people crabs, dinosaur crabs. Just, just so many crabs. Number five, Stormlight is a gateway drug for the rest of the Cosmere. In case you don't know, the majority of Sanderson's adult fiction exists in a shared universe, with ties between all the other books. Characters, organizations, or magic systems from one planet show up on the others. Once you start to see the bigger picture behind the curtain, you're going to want to learn more. So if you don't think you can stop yourself, it's best to not even start. Coming from a full Sanderson junkie, I can't begin to calculate the amount of hours and dollars I have invested in pursuing that next hit. It will consume you. Stormlight. Not even once. Thanks for watching! As always, huge thank you to my patrons, people who also ignored these warnings and are fully entrenched in Sandersonia. It's a good thing he writes fast enough we never really go through withdrawals. Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, thanks for being such excellent enablers. If you'd like to join them in supporting my channel, as well as get access to some excellent perks, check out my Patreon. We've got Dragonsteel Con coming up this month, and I'm finishing up my preparations for the release of Book 4 in the Skyward series. You probably don't have time to reread everything at this point. Don't let me stop you. So I'll have a summary video for the first uh, four books coming soon. That way you don't have to read and find out. I can stop whenever I want to. I don't have a problem. Sander Lanch. <laughs> Every time Kaladin's depressed, I do one push-up. Ooh, switch sides. Ooh.